Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm in the house to do your reading for you for the month of March 2018 for the sign of Libra. How you Libras doing? Uh, welcome to my channel. I just want you all to know that this is a general reading. Okay, general only. That means it's like messages are just flowing. I'm giving the messages uh, from spirit. Other than that, <laughs> you know, you're on your own to find out what you need to do with the messages that's coming. If it resonates with you now, if it doesn't resonate with you, you know, try your other signs, sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Look, you're welcome to look at my other, you know, videos for that. And, you know, if it doesn't resonate, it just doesn't resonate. It's just not your time. Okay. These things come in, uh, come in circles. They come in, they rotate, you know, just like the world rotates, you know, that's how uh, our signs rotate, you know, everything comes in cycles, you know, some things may sound repetitive to some people because you already been through that cycle or if you're recycling it's because you're not learning a lesson. Okay, so spirits trying to get it out, spill it out to you again till you get it right. Some of you. Again, there's no gender. <laughs> I'm gonna keep rattling on. There's no gender on the uh, um, on the court cards because male, females watching. Um, so let's go for it, Libra. Let's see what's up, Libra. I'm feeling like before I even get into this shit, you know, I'm feeling like um, some of you Libras out there, uh, male or females, you need to. I'm here, spirit saying, face reality, okay. Some of y'all know what that means. Face reality, get with the program and see it for what it really is. Face reality, face reality. They just keep saying that over and over again. Face reality. Uh, many times as you don't face reality and wanting to pursue, I'm feeling like you want to pursue something that's done. Some Something's done. It's over with. They um done. You're done. It could go vice versa. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Dropping cards. So face reality. For some of you, I'm feeling like um, you need to think positive in order to get positive out of your life. Some of you are in a negative space or headspace right now, okay? So think positive so positive can come to you. I'm all here spirit saying something about some trickery. Something about some trickery. There's some trickery. I don't know if it's coming from you. Um Libra or somebody around you, but there's definitely trickery. Be careful. If this is you, you still be careful because that shit ain't cool. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead on and get into the cards. Okay. Some fell out already. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So you're not waiting. You're being impatient about something. Okay. Very impatient with the hangman in reverse. And the moon card is here saying, you know, again, trickery, okay? I just said that. I just talked about some suspicion. There's some shit going on. And you already may be enlightened and know about what, what these things are. But you're just not saying nothing, you know, secretive. Secrets. All right. We got the Knight of Swords. This is your energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Capricorn could be a moon, could be a Scorpio. Or Pisces, okay? I'm picking up more of Pisces energy. This Knight of Swords is like somebody might be like spying or you spying on somebody or some kind of stalkery or something, maybe. Um, some kind of a sneaky type, at, uh, some sneaky. There's some battles here, and it's like they're preparing for war or you're preparing for war. You've been through, you're going through some shit libra you need to be on the, with the ace of cups the ace of cups always talks about you know new beginnings you know um new beginning on love you need new beginnings in love you need to think it in order to bring it in okay new beginnings because i feel like here you've been through a battle or you're going through an internal battle yourself or there's somebody that male or female that has come in, that got baggage this is your energy. Going around starting wars, Libra. What's going on here? Um, you're all garbed up. You know, you're all ready for battle. You ready to fight. You you ready to fight for something, and it's love. It's got something to do with love with the ace of of of, of cups here. Could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You want a new beginning. 
but you're going about it the wrong way because you know you're not totally being honest okay or somebody's not being honest with you and they know it this could be another person that may have aired their natal chart and they they're, they're protecting themselves from you because they've been through, you see them battles fighting fussing they 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 on guard you know what i'm saying they protecting themselves so that could get, be that scenario too somebody's like got their guard up on you because you are uh you or somebody else is suspicious here you know, but you don't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to wait. There ain't no waiting for what? You want to wait. You want to wait on a new. This person may have started a new beginning. This Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio person may have started a new beginning in love. And there's some battles here. Somebody's not a happy camper regarding this situation. Or somebody's turning down somebody with an offer of love or a new beginning of something. Because they know or something that is full of shit. Lies, deception, all kind of secrets and shit going on still. I don't know what spirit maybe say still. But this is, could be a, a, air, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And this is fighting, disagreements, this is competition. Somebody's not a happy camper, okay, about, you know, uh, wanting this new love. You, you, you know, you're fighting it. You're trying to fight it. You're trying to be aggressive and make somebody like you or love you. Or somebody's doing this so you can always turn it around. Now we got the ten of rods. It's like, you know, you feel, um, or you or someone around you feel like, you know, you're overburdening them. You know, you were a burden to them. That's what they're trying to express to you, you know, about this love offer that you may have given someone. Or it could be vice versa. Remember what I said. Because they know that there's some full of shit going on still. You know, full there's shit going on. Bullshit. And uh, they know they have to protect themselves from you or you have to protect yourself from them. Because of what you dealt with. Or because of what they dealt with, it was too much responsibility. It was heavy. The burdens was heavy. Too much. So, with the Queen of Pentacles coming out, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, or this could be you taking on this energy. You're, maybe you're a mother or you were pregnant and you may have gotten, you might have gotten pregnant and um, uh, lost a baby. Sorry to hear that if it happened to some of you or some of you may have found out about somebody being pregnant, may have gotten an abortion. Or somebody could have found out about a pregnancy and um, it wasn't who you thought it was. And it's in reverse. This is not a good sign here of an empress being in reverse. That means, you know, you're not your creativity is out the window. OK. You're not being creative or anything. You're just like in a bad space or somebody around you. And it could have been a Virgo that you've been dealing with, okay, in general, because that's what the hermit represents, a Virgo. This Virgo may have turned you down or you're upside down over this person. You don't want to let them go. You may have accused them. You may have tried to get them back any kind of way you can. But they're burdened with you. There's too many burdens here to carry. And a lot of fussing and a lot of fighting back and forth. A lot of secrets and shit and deception going on. With this trying to bring on a new beginning. They don't want it. They have to protect themselves from you. Because they've been through the worst of battle that they could. Or is this? Or it could be vice versa. And they ain't waiting around for your ass or you're not waiting around for them. You could have told this person you were pregnant and they found out it wasn't even their child. They don't, there's something here that they don't want this person thought long and hard about uh, with this situation. With, with with you being out of your element. You're upside down. And this person is secluding themselves from you. They're hiding out. And they're starting a new beginning. 
And maybe some of y'all need to start a new beginning and leave somebody alone that don't want to be bothered because you need to get your shit together. If it's not you, it, then it's happening. You know what to do. Re, 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 you know, turn it around. Nine of Pentacles, um, waiting, waiting around, just waiting around, waiting around. Ace of Pentacles, you want to hit the jackpot, okay? That's what you're waiting around for, to hit the jackpot. Uh, you're waiting around on new beginnings, okay? But somebody's being guarded. They're guarding their self from you. You might even try to entice somebody with money and or all this. This is like an entice, enticement to me. Like you're just trying to throw things, trying to throw all kind of things at this person who who they're they're just like they don't want it. Remember, I told you guys, you know, um, face reality. I said that in you know intuitively before I started shuffling and, and start bringing on you. Somebody's got to face reality. There's some trickery coming from you or another person that you and you're bothering them or they're bothering you. There's some obsession here. They are guarding themselves. They're cold as freaking ice. Okay. Or this could this is, could be you either or this other person may have this in their natal chart. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this could be you. Somebody's just out for the money. Somebody likes, you see that purple means royalty. Somebody's in, likes materialistic shit. They're very materialistic. And somebody's here is a gold digger, okay? They're a gold digger. And this other person know it. That's why they guard themselves from you. Or you guard yourself from them. Maybe they know that they're a gold digger. They moving on. They moving. They gone. This is your energy, but it could be that other person's energy too. It just depends on who's watching the video, who's doing what to who. You know what that all that is. I ain't got to figure that out. Y'all know already. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, somebody's moving on. Okay, they leaving. They leaving turbulent waters and they going to where they feel nice and calm and relaxed and their atmosphere and everything is, is smooth sailing. The nine of rods, they, they, they're a wounded soldier. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. They, you know, they've been wounded and they fought a lot of battles with you or you fought a lot of battles with this person, but you, you know, they're persevering on. They may be hurt. You know, they got the bandage on, but they still moving on. They got that one rod in their hand and tell me they're going to use it well. And you're going to be crying and shit over it because you can't get to this person no more. They're guarding their self from you heavily. They are like rejecting you. They're leaving or you're doing this to someone else. And now you got it. You can't sleep. This is your energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Can't sleep. You're crying at night. Who's crying now? That's the song I hear. Who's crying now? Yeah. Queen of Rods. You know, there's a, there's another person that they're uh, with or somebody or you're with someone else. They got this person's got it going on. They got confidence. They 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 do their own thing. Um, they're very beautiful. They got it going on, and you this may <laughs> this may worry you that they're moved on. Somebody in your life moved on, or you moved on, and they're with someone else. They offer their they're offer their shit to someone else. All right, and this is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Here, they moved on with someone else and left you out of the picture, and now you you know you're in regret. You you can't you're in regret. You're crying. Who's crying now? Knight of Pentacles. They, you know, they waited. You know, they've been waiting. You know what I'm saying? Knight of Pentacles is, is very uh, methodical. Okay? <laughs> they think before they act. They can see a future with themselves, with this person, whoever they're with, they see a future with. And that's what they've been waiting on all this time thinking about it. So now that they bumped your ass off the wheel or you bumped them off the wheel, now they're they're 
Now they riding high. See them two up there? They riding high. They riding on this wheel of fortune. And somebody else is getting left. Somebody had to get bumped off of this wheel in order for this to turn and be successful. So, they living it up. They having fun. They're enjoying their life. And somebody else has just like been bumped off the wheel. Somebody had to go here. Okay? So, so they can live a good life and be happy and content with someone. Either you're doing this or somebody's doing this with you. Four of Pentacles is someone feeling left out in the cold. It's like, it's like, look, this is a family, look like a family situation. Four of Pentacles, somebody feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's like, you know, just like going off. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, they're taking their shit and they're leaving a family situation here. There's like, there's this is like a family to me. And somebody, you know, and it looks like, you know, a needy situation. Somebody's in need, they're needy, and somebody's tired of the neediness, and they're taking their coins and they're moving the fuck on. And they got the world at their hand now. They come full circle. Because they had to leave some some dumb shit alone. Some beggars. Some beggars and some thieves. There are thieves in the temple tonight. So, take that messages and y'all know what to do because I don't know. I'm just the messenger, okay? And delivering the messages. So, take, don't, I don't want to hear the comment. Oh, no, that ain't me. That's them or them. I don't want to hear that because I don't care about that part. That's for y'all to, you know, spirit delivering these messages for some, for some of y'all for some reason, okay? Be in denial all you want. I don't care. That's on y'all. That's on y'all. That's not on me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do here. And then that's it. If you like a personal private reading, I'll, be, I'll do some more for you. And I'll get it all straightened out for you out in the open. Bring it out in the open and let you know what's up. That's all I can say. That's all spirit can say and do for you. Some things need to be addressed. If 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 if, if things were going okay or, or 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 whatever things is whatever, you wouldn't even be sitting here listening to no damn uh YouTube videos or even listening to any tarot card readers if your life was so grand. Okay, that's all I could say about that. So, more messages for Libra, the Ace of Swords. Okay, some some clarity. Somebody here needs some damn clarity. Either you, this is your energy, okay? So you need some uh, clarity to be victorious. You know, you need to see things clearly for what they really, you need that you're going to have some type of clarity here and truth. The truth shall set you free, my friends. This is your energy. So somebody need to spit the damn truth out or something and then be gone, be done with it. Got the three of cups, a third party situation. I'm hearing third party. The truth is coming out and it shall set you free about a third party situation that you've been doing or somebody's been doing this with you. Could have been Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's been three people involved and the truth has come to light. And this is your energy, okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is your energy, so this is you. You know, needing needing some type of truth or telling need to tell the truth about a third party messing around or whatever. Five of Cups, disappointment. Now you're in regret about it. There's definitely disappointment there because of this third party situation. Somebody may have found it out and they left your ass, okay. Or vice versa, you could have done this to someone else. Seven of Swords, yeah, they left. Okay, they got their shit and they just like, I'm gone. I'm see ya. Don't want to be ya. Okay, don't even want to be in this situation. No mo. Let's see what else we got here. The Five of Swords. Somebody ain't wanting to fight no more, okay? They done with the fighting. It came up in reverse, okay? No win situation. They done. 
they done with this no win situation fighting and carrying on or somebody trying to have the upper hand this is your energy either somebody's done with you you're done with them with their uh shenanigans <laughs> that's an old word shenanigan and uh, this is your energy. This is you all up and down every day. Libra. Balance. You need balance in your life. You need the scales to be balanced here. All right. All the wrongs will be righted. If this is you doing this uh, trickery shit here, uh, what goes around comes around. Okay. Sorry to say that's the way life is. I've been through it. We all been through it. Okay. Can't do wrong and expect to get away with it. Okay. Because justice here and you are... Govern over the justice. You get ready to kick yourself in your own ass. If this is you doing this, if not, then, you know, somebody else is getting theirs for doing certain situations to you, okay? Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Um, they holding, somebody's withholding and withdrawing from you. Um, they're definitely holding back. They're like, I'm keeping my goods, my goody, goody, goods to my goody, goody self. Why you suffer for what you've done, you know, and this is, you know, uh, they're tired of it. They're sneaking off, going in, or tired of your sneakiness because this is your energy. This is, you know, things that goes on in the dark, sneaky shit. And then you're in regret now, okay, or somebody's in regret here because of a third party situation going on, okay. And somebody's got an enlightenment of it. Somebody got word of it. Okay. Either you're doing this or someone's doing this to you. Put it as it goes. How it's supposed to wherever it's supposed to go. Okay. So let's get some more messages going on here for the sign of Libra spirit. What else do you have to say? For the sign of spirit. Libra for the month of um, March. What other messages do you want to deliver to them um we're in the age of aquarius there's things that you know we're in um revealing everything's going masks are falling off every fucking where i'm talking about you're gonna have to duck and dodge so many masks are falling off because it's the age of revealing things has to be revealed things has to come to the light whatever's in the dark whatever's been hidden Whatever is who's been faking, whoever been doing whatever they ain't supposed to be doing is all coming out in the age of Aquarius because it's time for people to face themselves and become anew and wash yourself clean. If you don't want to do that, then you're going to be stuck. Okay, you're going to be stuck and, and spirit don't want that. So that's why they're bringing all this stuff to your attention, letting you know everything's going to be out in the open. Okay, and they're going to use readers to, to get down on it, too. All right, regarding this situation, because we're at a critical time right now where people need to get it together. You think it's all lost? It's not. So all these things have to come out. These energies are coming to me. I'm not bringing the energy here. I'm, I'm just a, a worker for the spirit to bring the energies to me to deliver to you. Okay, that's all I am. So you need some type of enlightenment. Okay, there's going to be some enlightenment. Again, it reminds me of the Ace of Swords. Somebody's going to be enlightened here regarding the situation you or someone else and there you're definitely going to be rejected you're going to be rejected or somebody else is after they find something out about you or you find something out about them um where's your self-worth you need to have some self-worth because i feel like you're going out on a uh uh you don't want you're you're mad about rejection, Libra. I'm gonna give it to you straight up, okay? If this is not you, it's someone else that is pissed about this rejection because they found something out about you or you found something out about them, and you know you ain't got no self worth because you're begging. It's time to recover, okay? You gotta recover over this. Whatever this is going on, you all only know, okay? You got to recover. It's time to, to chill. Whatever it is, it's a completion. It's dead and it's gone, okay? And that's what you need to recover over. That's what you need to get a, uh, some self-worth about yourself and stop making yourself look ridiculous, okay? Because you've been rejected over your own damn doing, whatever you've been doing, or vice versa.
Okay, don't forget, vice versa. It's dead. You see that grave there? It's gone. Somebody has left the building, okay? And um, it's time to recover over this shit. Grief. Yep. We know you're mad. You mad or somebody else is mad, okay? They're, you know, now you're grieving, okay? Now you're grieving. Somebody left the building. You better recover over this stuff. This, it, you know, they're saying it's done. Do you not hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Libra, or somebody's doing this to you, and now you feel guilty. You, you're living off of, you, you know, you're going on guilt now. Or somebody's going on guilt with you. I'm, I'm picking up a heavy as a lot of you guys. You need to expand. There's some expansion. There needs to be some expansion in your life. There needs to be some guidance. Because there's some sneaky stuff going on that you're trying to cover up. You're not you're not exposing the things for what it really is. You're not seeing it for what it really is. But you're guilty as hell. The guilt is eating you the, the hell up, uh, Libra. If it's not you, it's someone else. You know, and you're being very mystical right now. Very, uh, very, you know, you're just not unveiling yourself. You're not coming clean. You're not coming clean. If you're coming to someone wanting to uh, rekindle something, you're not coming clean still. Still, you're putting on a facade. Come on now, Libra. Come on. Come on up out of this. They see you. They see you. You don't have to, you know, try to hide and because they see you for what you are. Okay, stop putting on the facade. They see it. Whoever this is, you bugging or whatever this is, you trying to do here. You need to take a good look at yourself and come out of the facade. Stop, stop the facade. Stop the sneaking around and trying to disguise and hide shit. And then, you know, broaden your mind because you know you're carrying a lot of guilt. Over something that is dead and gone and over with. You need to recover from this. Grief. Is, yeah, I know it's grief to you. I know. But where's your self-worth at? Because you got rejected. Because somebody found something out about you. And they ain't wanting you no more. And you're trying to fight it still. Come on now. Or... Vice versa, somebody's doing this to you. Okay, we'll give you a break here. You need to meditate. There's some meditation that needs to be here, and you need to study. You need to find out. You need to study yourself. You need to meditate and study you, uh, uh, and, and bring a rainbow. You know, come to some self-realization about yourself, okay? Uh, and then you'll have new beginnings, okay? You need a, a new beginning. It's time for you to move on. And have you get answered prayers, but you need to do that meditation. If you don't do that, none of this is going to take place. You need to get out in nature, nurture yourself, um, and you need to have some kind of peace, serenity. Um, you got the power card, but it's in reverse, so you're going to need to get the power. But you, you it's almost like you you're getting told all this stuff by spirit, but yet alone. The power card is in reverse. You need to switch it around because you got to, let me start all over again. You got to meditate. You got to release whatever's going on inside of yourself, Libra, and study. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here for the sign of Libra. We got beauty. Again, new beginnings. But you have to see the beauty in yourself. Okay? Stop being so... So you can have new beginnings. You got to have faith. You got to come clean. With the innocence card. And then things will happen in divine timing. And there needs to be transition. You have to transition yourself. You have to transform. And you got to come pure and clean. 
You got a lot of cards of coming clean and being pure. All these pictures of somebody being naked. That's saying you need to release that outer shell, that outer part of you that you're trying to hide behind. Enchantment. Again, coming clean within yourself. Compassion. Coming clean. You, there's a lot of coming clean in here because all these pictures in this are people who are naked who needs to come clean. It's time to stop the bullshit here and have faith that there will be new beginnings. All is not lost. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you need a personal private reading, Libra, look below. Be glad to help you out, okay? And um, like I said, this is just general. It's nothing to take, you know, these are just messages that Spirit gave to me to give to you. I'm just a messenger. Nothing, no more, no less. You know, any problems, you, you know, or anything you want to talk about, talk to your spirit, guys, as they say. They're giving you messages. They're trying to help you if you need help. If it doesn't pertain to you, then it's not you. Don't need to hear it. That ain't what the comment section for is for. You know, relaying, you know, saying, you know, I, I relate to some of those things that you said, Miss Miss Simply Love, through spirit. I relate to that. Or uh, this is what I've been going through. Things of that nature. Not, ah, uh, it's not me. That, who, nobody's saying it's you. I don't even know who the hell is watching right now. Okay? So let's let's chill and you know kind of like chill on that action and you're like you wouldn't even be watching if something wasn't even, wasn't right or everything was going so perfect you have no need to be watching tarot card readers right that's how I see it so we don't need to hear the, the you know the negative backlash about things like that it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous okay that's all this is ridiculous but anyway um. I'll see you guys mid-month. I love you all. You take care of yourselves. Um, you know, listen to the uh, words that Spirit has to say to you because all they are here to do is to help. Okay? Thank you, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.